Here we go again, another great gold final made here in Ontario. The three-year-old pacing fillies, and they're off. Silver 7 along the inside is leaving out. Run around Jade Cupcakes and Whipped Cream. Fernbank Fiona leaving extremely hard. To the front goes Run around Jade. Looking for a tuck in. Roy is Bambi is in a tight spot. Fourth from last, Kokanee Creek. Then Shamor Lynn to the outside. Second to last was Cueless leaving. And Cassidy Sealster was 10th. Run around Jade and Mike Saftik have hit the front. Fernbank Fiona got the pocket. Cupcakes and Whipped Cream is parked out third. Silver 7 is on the inside. Fourth, Twinby Rosebud left in fifth. Sixth and hung to the outside. Roy is Bambi. The opening split was 27 and 2. Run around Jade is the leader. Fernbank Fiona in for the trip. Here comes Silver 7 out from fourth, picking up third and driving on at Run around Jade. Cupcakes and whipped cream. Hard spent early. Goes back out again. Twin B Rosebud follows cover to the outside from fifth. Kokanee Creek along the inside from sixth. Roy is Bambi. Is seventh. Shea Morlin eighth out in traffic. Then Cassidy Sealster and Culis took a shuffle back to tenth. Fifth Fifty-six seconds was the half. Silver seven now leading onto the final turn from Runaround Jade. Cupcakes and Whipped Cream is first up in the outer flow. On her cover comes Twin B Rosebud. Second over from fourth, Fernbank Fiona looking pinned in for Tony Kerwood along the inside from fifth. Roy is Bambi may follow three high from sixth. That is Kokanee Creek from seventh. Shaw Morlin eighth on the far outside. Then Culis to the extreme outside, and Cassidy Sealster went back in from tenth. So Silver 7 turns for home. She's under heavy pressure, though. Coming to her is Twin B Rosebud. Twin B Rosebud is passed. Silver 7. They pass three quarters in 125 and 3. Run around. Jade is picking her way back through. Fernbank Fiona on the outside, but it's Twin B Rosebud in deep stretch with run around Jade. Twin B Rosebud captures the gold over run around Jade and Fernbank Fiona. Twin B Rosebud. 15 to 1 shocker in the gold final. Twin B. Rosebud returns as the seventh race winner from Mohawk in the Ontario Sire Stakes Gold Final. Dexter Nukes, three-year-old Bay Philly. From Loggable. Bred by Tammy and Rob McNiven. Owned by McMaster Stables, David Sirwatuck, Robin Watts, and Cesar Kowalski. Trained by Kevin McMaster. Driven to victory by Mario Bayerjean. It's her fourth win in 24 starts this year. 154 to capture the gold. Twin B. Rosebud. Making the winner circle presentation is Mr. H. Barry Hewson, Director of Racing for the Standard Bread Division at Woodbine and Mohawk for Woodbine Entertainment. Three-year-old Philly Pace Gold final this evening. Kevin McMaster, trainer and co-owner of that Philly, joins me. We'll talk to him in just a few moments. First of all, Mario Bayerjean, big day for you. You said it's your first double dose of Ontario Sire Stakes action in the same day. You won earlier with a ton of diamonds in here tonight with Twin B. Rose, but uh, a filly who showed a lot of promise last week, and she put it all together here tonight. Yeah, last week she raced real good. You know, she come from last, and she only got beat the length. Uh, tonight, she, I was lucky enough to uh, get out at the 3.8s, and Carl came in front of me, and Carrie uh, told me for another half mile, and uh, when I tipped her 3 white, she, she responded real well. Take us through the stretch drive. Uh, when you came up off the cover, were you confident you were going to be able to haul down Silver 7, who was setting the pace? No, not really, because Silver 7 raced real good last week. But, uh, you know, like uh, when I got to his wheel, I know that uh, I, I looked at Silver 7, and she didn't look like she had much pace. I was worried about Mike Shaftsick more than anything else, top of the stretch. Put the 154 mile into perspective uh, with regards to the cool night tonight. Oh, it's a pretty good mile. She came in the last quarter, 27 in a piece, 28, you know. But then again, she raced real well last week, too. All right. Confident she's going to the Super Finals the best she can be? Yeah, I think she's real fresh. Kevin's got a real sound, and uh, she, I think she's fresh. All right, got to drive in the next race. Get to that. We'll uh, get some words from Kevin McMaster, winning trainer. Uh, it's Kevin's first Ontario Sire Stakes Gold Series win, uh, traditionally known for his success with the claiming pacers and even the condition horses. But uh, why the decision to tackle the Ontario Sire Stakes game this year? Uh, we had a chance to, uh, to buy this mare there early, early in the year, so we decided we'd take a shot. Seen her come around in the last, uh, say, month and a half or so. What's been the uh, turnaround for her? Uh, she's been pretty good all year. She had uh, maybe one or two flat races, but uh, I think like the cold weather, because she got a little, 
allergies that, that bother her a bit. I think that's kind of helping her a bit right now. What about the services of Mario Bayarjan? You've gone to him in the last number of weeks. Has he picked her up a bit? Mm, I don't know if he picked her up. He gave her a hell of a drive tonight. But uh, Randy Waples was doing real good. He made over 100 grand with her, so I don't think I can really uh, take anything away from Randy. It's a sweet win, not only training the filly, but you also co own part of her. Yeah, it feels a little. A lot more better. <laughs> All right. Sure. See you next week for the Super Finals. Okay, thank you, Ken. Okay, Kevin McMaster trains not only the winner, but the fourth place finisher as well in Culis, and we'll see uh, both of them back for Super Finals next week. Right now, we've got.